Hi, I'm Lisa Ivan uh, with We Care Services for Children. Today, I wanted to talk about one of the more challenging things for some families, which is taking your child to a grocery store or taking your child anywhere where they might have a tantrum. Oftentimes I talk with parents and it's really nerve wracking for them if they've started to get into a cycle where their child will tantrum or their child will want something and make it a challenge every time they go uh, to a store. And um, so I want to talk to you today is how you can make that a little bit easier for yourselves. Um, it's important to remember that kids are constantly learning and you are constantly their teacher, whether you recognize it or not. They're learning from you how to get what they need um, and maybe where your limits are. And so what you want to do is make sure you show them clearly and simply where your limits are and you want to be consistent with those limits and sometimes that means having a consequence such as we're going to go into the store we're not going to get um, anything that's not on our list and then we're going to leave and if you throw a tantrum or if something you know you get upset then um, we're not going to get to go to the park or something that's realistic but the important thing is to stay realistic oftentimes i hear parents in stores saying we're never going to come back here again or you're not going to get to play with your video games for a month and if that's true okay but i don't know many parents that can keep it that long you really need to be true to what you say because your children are learning from you um, where the line is and if your word is credible or not and so we want to make sure that you're teaching them that your word is credible because that helps in so many other areas of your relationship as well and so if you're watching this chances are you've had some struggles already in the grocery store or out in the community so I want to give you some advice on what you can do when you're in the store like I mentioned earlier have a list these are the things that we're getting we're not getting anything off this list and if they start to get upset, know that bad behavior comes from an unmet need. And it isn't the unmet need of getting the cookie or getting the extra thing in the store. It's about some feeling that's going on. So if you can acknowledge their feeling and you can talk with them about that and calm them down and then re-engage them in the activity of you guys being in the store together, that will be really helpful in calming things down. Um, but the most important thing is to have your limits um, keep them and have your consequences be realistic so that your children know what you say is what you mean because then in your future trips they won't throw fits because they know what you say is what you mean and it's not going to work for them to throw themselves on the floor or scream or cry or anything like that so good luck and let me know how it goes happy shopping